Week 7 DST stardom sit em. I got three starts and two sits coming at you right now. Now we only have one team that is a notable buy and that's the Chicago Bears. The other team on buy is the Cowboys and I don't think anybody in their right mind have been starting the Dallas Cowboys in DST starting lineups. So that is out of the way. Giving you a replacement in the Washington Commanders which might sound weird to some folks but man they've been playing some really good football in the last couple of weeks and they're also home against the Panthers where I think they could take advantage of that Panthers O-line who have really been struggling with pressure and honestly See, the Washington Commanders at home been allowing less than 15 points per game. They've been averaging four sacks per game at home, and they're one of four teams to do that. So right now, they've been getting a lot of sack production with some upside with some turnovers as well against this Panthers offense because Andy Dalton isn't going to be a guy that's going to have a clean sheet. So I look for this defense to be a nice plug and play if you're worried about some other matchups, if you're worried about the Broncos or the Vikings or even the Jets matchup. I would be looking to put the Washington Commanders at home Again, in starting lineups, just to have a high ceiling to put up some really big points. Next up, man, I think the Rams might be in consideration to get a start this week, being that the first beginning of the season, it was hard for your boy to be watching because that secondary was getting cooked. But they got the Raiders this week where I think they can manhandle that Raiders O-line because they're allowing the fifth most sacks so far this season. And honestly, I am excited to see Jared Burst, Kobe Turner, the conductor, Brandon Fist, and Byron Young to cause hell in the trenches against that Raiders O-line. Now, with Darius Williams coming back, from injury before the bye, that secondary looked a lot stronger and to be able to let this pass rush really produce and get after the quarterback. And I definitely think this Raiders offense may be limping into this week because last week, Jacoby Myers, honestly, Devontae Adams dealing with his hamstring injury at the time of recording. He has not been traded, but who knows the product that's going to be going out there. At least the Rams don't have to worry about the Raiders running the ball all over them. So therefore, they should only have to focus about com completing tackles and having that secondary strong so this pass rush can get after Aiden O'Connell and make some mistakes, get the interceptions, get the sacks, and build up the points this week, people. Next up, I got the Pittsburgh Steelers in starting lineups, and I got to be honest, this probably be the last time I put the Steelers in a stardom sit in video. They may be a start and forget just based on being a top five DST option. I don't care who they're playing. Steelers have been producing on all fronts. Back-to-back -back games, they had a block kick. Don't forget the ST stands for special teams as well, and they've been producing in back-to-back -back games with a block kick. They're already going to be a sack-producing team. The turnovers are going to be there as well, but they got the Jets this week who honestly been struggling to protect Aaron Rodgers, so therefore there is going to be a high-ceiling game here for the Pittsburgh Steelers, so put them in starting lineups. For the rest of the season so this will be the last time you'll hear the Steelers in a stardom cinema video coming from your boy now to get into my phase for week 7 DST and honestly I'm only putting this in the video that the Jacksonville Jaguars are not a defense that you think you can go bully the New England Patriots there is a new sheriff in town and Drake May looks promising man they put up 21 points which is the most points they put up last week in this entire season so I think Drake May being that he's so athletic he may get over on this Jaguars defense and honestly surprise a lot of folks this looks like a team that can go out out there and drive downfield now and I don't want people who are down bad in the DST world right now thinking like oh let me go out there and get the Jaguars so they can bully the Patriots but honestly there's some folks that live out there like that that constantly want to stream defenses and they get caught up in the one week where they don't have that streaming option and they go out there and get a Jaguars defense that think they can bully a lackluster offense but I'm telling you now Drake May may go out there and surprise a lot of folks. A lot of these rookies are balling right now, and I wouldn't want to test the chin of Drake May coming off a productive game. Now to get into my last fade, and it's the New Orleans Saints going up against the Denver Broncos. Now, again, this may look like a plug-and-play situation here where I think Bo Nix might go out there and surprise a lot of folks because these last two weeks, he has been playing great football the Denver Broncos are not a team that go out there and score a ton of points but man he put up two passing touchdowns on the Chargers last week and that's the most passing touchdowns they allowed so far this season so he's surprising a lot of good defenses going out there in the last three games 100% of the Broncos touchdowns have come from Bo Nix he has been very productive on the fantasy front back-to-back -back games of 20 plus fantasy points and right now I think the Saints are bruised up right now on a short week on Thursday night football 
football going up against a Bo Nix who's motivated a productive offense that they've been having in the last couple of weeks. I honestly think this could be a trap game for the Saints and I will be looking to pivot to other areas because honestly the Saints they've been getting cooked on the ground and Bo Nix he's been running a ton. He's scrappy so therefore I wouldn't want to test another rookie's chin and get called out getting some low points. I'm not saying the Saints are going to get blown out but I'm not looking for four to five to six points when it comes to a DST that should be building off the 10 points being that they're so good in the secondary and they're a team that can get the sacks but Bo Nix he may surprise a lot of folks this week so that wraps up another great episode of Road to Baller Fantasy Sports YouTube channel. Please make sure you guys are liking, subscribing. Leave a comment below on your starting sick questions, and I'll try to answer them all the way up until game time. And you know what it is, man. You see the face, you know the case. You can find me at Real Deal Fantasy on all social media platforms. Until next time.